Hi everyone. Sorry that the air conditioning or the heater is back on again. I have no control over that. Um, but anyways, I will try to talk as close as I can to the camera. Um, hopefully the uh, background sound won't be too distracting. So today I've got a vintage book haul from an antique mall or antique store that's here in my um, hometown. Um, I went there after, um, well actually I was originally going to go to Walmart but I just like midway just decided to drive over to the antique store. And um, this was last Saturday. <clears throat> I didn't think I was going to find anything, but I ended up walking out with about five or six books <coughs> and some other stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Hold on, I need to take a drink because I can feel there's like a tickle in my throat. Okay. So the first book that I found was a dollar. And it was this one right here. Concepts in Science. It must have been some old science book, and I love that when books have this. So actually, this was from 1994 because this kid um, had wrote his name and the year in there. And I guess this was originally from New York. But you can see right here, it does say that, let me make sure that it's in focus. Oh, sorry, there we go, that was a dollar. That's the booth number. So um, I got it because I love science and I thought this was really cute. Would be good for a junk journal. Um, love these illustrations. This book was published, let's see. So it was published in 1970, I guess, if I go by the uh, most recent copyright. So yeah, I that's the only reason why I bought it, was mostly for the illustrations. And then the next book, that I did find was this um, English, this elementary English in action. And this is a pretty old book. So I found this in another booth. And some of these don't have the price written on the inside. There was like a little slip of paper that was um, in the book. And you know what? I don't know if it was in here. But I believe this came out to, hold on, let's see. Hmm, hold on, let me see if I got the receipt here. Okay. Oh wow, I actually did not know that some of the books that I bought were actually um, on sale, like 20% off. So I think this book was $4, oh sorry, this one right here was $4, and it was 20% off, so I got for $3.20. So let's see. This one was published 1935 and it, you know, it's got, um, how do I say this? I mean, it's, I don't think it's really like grammar, so to say. Um, I can't even think of what I was going to say about what kind of book this is, but you know, I thought the illustration, illustrations were cute and yeah, once again, this would be really great for um, junk journals. I, I, I did buy it to kind of tear it up. You know, it's so hard because I buy these old vintage books and I just find sometimes I have a hard time wanting to um, cut them up and use them because I just love that whole look, you know? So then the next book that I found which was in the same booth and it was just so weird because it was like it was on the same shelf I just happened to see this on the um, side Philippines and I pulled it out and I was like oh my god look at this so it's the world and its people a series of geographical readers book number six is it six no book number 11 um, the story of the Philippines by Adeline Knapp so this is like really, really old. There was a little water damage in the book, as you can see there. Um, from what I could see, so I got this for $6. It was, let's see, this one was also on sale for 20% off, so I actually got it for $4.80. So this book was published, and it, I don't know if this was the last of it in a series, but, um, 
this one I'm definitely not tearing up, okay? This was published in 1902. <laughs> and to think, this is a book about, you know, the Philippines. I'm Filipino. My parents are from the Philippines. I was born here in the U.S. But it's just fascinating. Oh, wow, look at that. It even has um, the, um, the script, the alphabet script. I have um, a pendant that I had somebody write my name in one of the ancient scripts. I can't remember which one it is here, but um, that's kind of cool that it has this listed in here. So um, I haven't really flipped through the book, you know? Oh God, I don't want to break the spine because um, I just heard it crack there. But yeah, I will eventually read this book. Um, maybe during the holidays, um, like Thanksgiving or Christmas. I'll just spend a whole afternoon reading the whole book. But I was just so excited to find this. <laughs> This is a great find, 1902, okay? So then the next book I found was this right here. It's a and a back, sorry. My battery ran out. <laughs> so I need to recharge this. Good thing I have like four. So, um, and I always keep them always charged so that way it's, I don't have to wait. Anyways, this was the next book that I purchased. Um, it is called The Bookshelf for Boys and Girls. Nature and Science, Volume 7. So this must be, and look at that inside. It's so cute. Uh, this one was published, well, it looks like 1968. Yeah, or, yeah, probably 1968, even though this is 63 here. Um, once again, really great for the junk journals, okay? For your inserts or whatever they call it. I'm trying to think of that word, but it doesn't come to mind. So this one is much bigger. I thought this would work well. Um, I got this book for, how much did I get this one for? I believe this one was $4. Also from the same booth with this, these other two right here. So uh, I like the cover of this book with the, uh, the deer on it. And then the last book that I got was actually a songbook, um, Singing in Harmony, right there. Now this one is pretty old. Um, this was $5, but it was on sale uh, for 20% off. So, what? Yeah. So I got it for $4. Okay, that doesn't make sense. But anyways, um, this one doesn't, Alta Vista. That's all it says is the school and it was for fifth grade. Now this one is pretty old. It is from 1951, okay? So um, you've got a lot. Look at the illustrations on that. That is so cute. I love this. It almost looks, well it is obviously Spanish but it also could pass for being Filipino. Look at that. So, um, there was some Christmas songs in here when I actually opened it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, see, it came upon the Midnight Clear, the first Noel. Um, look at that for Thanksgiving. There's the Christmas. This one's really cute. It's just so hard for me to have to, if I'm going to cut this all up, I might just like, Maybe I'll just make copies <laughs> and use that. I mean, I just love the way this looks, the paper, the way it's aged, everything. Um, I wonder if I can get my nieces probably to play these on the piano. If they, because they can read the notes. They, they take piano lessons. So yeah, that was a great find also. Um, I try not to go to these kind of places too often only because I don't want to go and then there's like the same stuff, nothing new, you know? Kind of like with the other one that's here in my hometown that I went to and I found the, um, the vintage postcards. Like, I don't know how often these um, people restock their booths, so that's why um, 
you know, if I go, it's kind of a spur of the moment kind of thing. So I do want to show one other book that I got, but this was in the, this is from Amazon and it's The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady by Edith Holden. Um, I've seen some other people talk about this book and um, I've always wanted to get it, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. Um, this time I got it, I think I paid with shipping and everything. It probably came out to, I don't know, actually. I want to say over $15. Hold on, let me check. Let's see here. How much? Because I, I know I, I did get a really good deal on this. Um, where are you? Order details. I got this for $19.48. And the reason why I ended up paying for it is because this was listed as very good condition, which it is. I mean, the cover is still in good condition. Um, the spine, like none of the pages are messed up at all. They're pretty pristine. Um, this is what the book looks like on the inside. You've got a lot of like illustrations of flowers, wildflowers, okay? And um, that's the reason why I got it because I just love the look of it. You know, these are, I guess, this was like a diary, yes it is, a diary, you know, that she kept probably for a whole year, maybe. So, um, I just love, I like, I like the idea of keeping this on my shelf, in other words, <laughs> part of my collection. So I was, no, I, I didn't mind spending that much for the book. So yeah, that's my haul, uh, my vintage book haul, and, um, I might go and check out some other uh, antique malls that are um, in another part of town just to, you know, just out of curiosity to see, you know, what what books they have. Um, you know, obviously, my library this year did not have their book sale and that would have been the prime time for me to go and find, especially like vintage children books and, you know, other books like this that people just donate to the library. Um, and it's a great way to get like books for cheap because those books would be like, I think the most you'd probably find them for would be like maybe two bucks. And then by, you know, like the weekend, they have like the grab bag. So you could fill the whole paper bag with as much books as you can fit in there and you'd pay like, you know, five bucks. And then by Sunday, it's like three bucks, you know? So it's, you, if you wait until then, then you're not gonna really get a lot of the really, really good stuff. So. Um, but still, you know, that's how I got a lot of my vintage books. Um, I'm just hoping that they'll have the sale again next spring. Um, and that they still, you know, people are still donating stuff like this to them. Um, I would, you know, it would be better than just, you know, trying to sell it at an antique mall and it's just collecting dust. <laughs> In fact, when I went into that mall, man, my sinuses were like on fire, probably from all of the dust, even with me wearing a mask. Okay, so enough rambling. Um, I've got a couple more hauls to film. So I hope to see you guys again on YouTube and have a great week. Bye.